Last month, South Dakota lost one of its true rock legends. Randall Zwart died April 10th of cancer at the age of 57. Tonight on Eye on Kelloland, we pay tribute to the singer, songwriter, and the rock band he called Zwarte. While many long-haired rock and roll bands seemed to fade after the 80s, Zwarte, with its lead singer, Randall Zwart, was just getting rolling. In 88, we, that's when we actually went out and played our very, very first live show. Bob Zwart is Randall's younger brother and played drums in the early years. We loved it. We just, we just didn't know we weren't very good. <laughs> and that's the truth, you know. It's, we just hadn't crafted our skill, if you will. But it couldn't stop us. Bob says Randall was very talented and determined. He says the early years were tough, living paycheck to paycheck, sometimes sleeping in vehicles night after night on the open road. But slowly the band began grabbing people's attention. And Randall just kept writing music, kept writing music, and he uh, he told stories people wanted to hear, and he, he grabbed people. He did he did phenomenal. Just about everything he wrote was something he had seen on the road, experienced. Eddie Filarecki was lead guitarist for Zwarte. He and Bob Bose, Randall, was a natural songwriter who wrote music almost effortlessly. Songs like Lucy and Ride to Sturgis. That's when life started to change. Where the light switch changed everything was when Randall, we used to let other people sing those songs that he had written when he started singing his own songs that was the light that switched on right there it was really apparent people were coming out to the shows to hear the originals we weren't just a cover band anymore Late at night when the sun goes down. in 1992 Zwarte released its first of many albums all of a sudden no matter where we went there was big crowds in some cases more cases than not there were lines to get in they began playing all over the upper Midwest, from Fargo to Sioux Falls to Kansas City. We were a Midwest band. You know, we did do shows out in Michigan and Illinois. Uh, they were a little bit later on, but it was we were always Midwest. And we would take some shows West Coast, East Coast, but our base was without a doubt the Midwest. Bob eventually left Zorte to start his own band. That's when Randall reached out to another drummer, Bruce Knapp of Nebraska. There's really no way to replace Bob, his brother, who was the drummer and, and the singer, because if you really listen to out of the 13 CDs that they have, I mean, you really want to get a true feeling of what Zorte was about. Um, it's the two brothers, and it's it's Bob and, and Randall's voices um, harmonizing together. Like, I mean, it's just magic. There's no other voice in the country like his, you know, and everybody was just... It, and then it kind of caught the name Story Rock. You know, he, his voice was almost talking, but yet singing. It was just such a unique voice, and everybody gravitated toward that. Take the ride to Sturgis. His voice, his stories, his lyrics. Some of them, baby, move on. We'd be performing in crowds of five, ten thousand people sometimes. He, like before the show, he would be playing a guitar, some kind of little guitar riff, and he might mumble some words and stuff to it. And he would just keep repeating that stuff. And we would be right in the middle of a performance, and he would start playing that, you know, and stuff. Even if it was just a few measures and stuff, well, come to find out later, he was writing a song right there on stage. And I'm going to remember him for his stories, I think. He was really good at it. If you listen to the songs, it, that deal works. You know, I think that's what I remember more than anything. Everybody that met Randall, you know, he was such a personal guy. He was such a likable guy. Um, his music will stand the test of time because it's it's just unbelievable um, what, what he wrote and his lyrics and how big of a gift it was. A gift so many fans are missing right now. Spend that much time with somebody, it really hits home. It really, it's, you know, it, it hurts a lot. I guess I'm gonna appreciate all the time that I did have with him, you know, and try to remember all the great stuff. Randall has an amazing wife, amazing kids, and he was a heck of a family man and a dad. He, he, absolutely, yeah. They miss him just as much as we do, if not more. Randall Zwart may be gone, but his music will live on forever, and so will the memories. It was, it was, uh, 
not only the highlight of my career, probably the, the best time of my life. Love that music. Randall Zwart is survived by his wife and four children and three grandchildren. He was 57.